Hi guys, welcome back for another video. Welcome back to the channel. What is on the menu for today? I'm gonna be doing porridge. I'm gonna be doing a nice two-in-one porridge. Yes, guys, this is banana with cornmeal. How many with cornmeal? How many alone? Peanut porridge. I have a lot of porridge on the channel, you know? Because I'm a porridge lover and I love soup and I love porridge. Stay tuned, stay with me, stick and stay. Whatever you do, just stay with me, right? Yes. So, here are my banana. Right? And I'm going to be peeling and Great. I'm gonna use my grater because I want a kind of different texture. You know, old time days when my mother used to cook her porridge, you know, her boil her porridge and grater. She usually use the grater. So I want that kind of texture. I'm not gonna put it in the blender today. Yeah. So that is what I'm gonna be doing. Alright, so I have my coconut milk. You know, we also have a coconut milk. Right? Here's my coconut milk. I'm not using any tin milk, I'm gonna use a Lasco and I'm gonna use the vanilla Lasco. Alright, turn up my flavor. Any milk of your choice, you can use it. I have my vanilla. Yes. You know everything you're doing. Somebody say, Come, you like salt? This is what it means. Salt has to go in everything to get that nice flavor. Salt brings all the flavors together. I have my nutmeg. Right, I have my cinnamon powder, I have my rose water, anything that you bake, you use and bake, you can put it to flavor your porridge. You can, anything, any baking product you can use and flavor your porridge. You understand? Yes. Don't let anybody tell you anything different. So I'm gonna put my rose water in my porridge. I mean, every time I use my rose water, it's really nice. I don't see it, it don't bitter me like some people say it's bitter. No, it's not gonna bitter. Oh, my cornmeal. I have to have my cornmeal. I have some water on the stove with the cinnamon leaves. Right? So, I'm going to get my bananas ready. Peel my banana, grate them, and start the process. Yeah. You would want me to wash them off already, you know, you know, but wash them already. So, I'm going to be peeling them you can use a planting thing anything that you like you know if you like planting you can use a planting to make your porridge you know I have planting porridge already planting porridge nice too yeah but it's been a minute since I've drink um, banana porridge so today is the day yay so let me just peel them. You know that the water kills the skin enough. So you can um, just peel them under the pipe. And then they run in water. Just turn it down a little bit. So you can easily well peel them. Yeah, man. As you know, make me like interact with them, you know. I love talk to the people them and I like it when we just dead in the comments. Yeah, I mean, in the comments. Dead and not saying anything, you know? And I give the vibes. So you know, I'm gonna ask you know which parrot is your favorite. Tell me down in the comments. Comment down below and tell me which parrot, you know, if you like parrot that is just like cornmeal alone. You like to put something else in your cornmeal, you know? Yeah. Turn up the flavor. Yeah, man. So, today. Okay. So, let me do it. I'm not going to shred it. I'm going to use it. The start. Ooh. Good thing the place all is clean. Yeah. So, anything drop on the counter or wherever, I, mean, I don't have to worry. So, guys, you like when you're eating it. Alright. Whenever, when it boil, boil the um the, the the banana porridge, I will put it in the blender. You know when you put it in the blender, it's real smooth. But back in the old time days, yeah, we used to grate it. My mother used to grate it, you know. 
yeah, three times and um, you know, we get the, the you see, all in the sink. But I'm not gonna use that still. That the all the um, she grate it, and yeah, eat it when you eat when you have enough porridge now. It just has some little lump, lump, chunky, chunky. You can chew on it. You know, all them little something here, them little parts here, we just drop it. Yeah, so mm -hmm. that's how we used to do a porridge. Great taste, you know, great our banana. Mm -hmm. Here is my banana. You know, say when I peel, when I, as long as you peel the banana, you take it out the skin, it's gonna change to a different color, you know, it oxidizes. But don't watch that, see, that is okay, it's very normal. Yes, yeah, so. I am going to put my cornmeal now. Yes, yeah, cornmeal. One, two, three. About half cup of cornmeal. Five fingers of banana, you know. So I'm using that. Just a little water. Right. I'm going to use cornmeal. We want to use coconut milk to turn up our flavor. Right? You don't have to do it. This, you don't have to do it like this. And maybe you can, if you want, you can separate the cornmeal, or you, you can separate. You know, everything you can separate everything and put it in in the pot, sing, single. You put your banana first, or you know, you put in your cornmeal first. It don't even matter because both of them are going to cook. Okay. So I'm gonna turn on the stove now, you know, and start the process, the cooking process, or the boiling process. So now, here is my cinnamon leaf, right? Get all the flavor. See, change the color. So we know that we can take them out. How many can make them stay? I'm gonna take out some, right? And let the rest stay. Start the process with my cornmeal and my banana. Yes, it starts to rise. I put it in because I don't want to get lumpy. And we're gonna need some more water. Start to boil up back. So start the boiler going man. Don't worry. And you know the temperature drop because the water you put in the cold water, so the temperature is gonna drop right down. But just continue stirring, stirring, stirring. You don't want it to lump. You see, look at them lump, lump the banana here. So we are gonna eat it. We have something to chew. Let me do a little different way, you know, away from the blending out, smoothing out. You know, banana don't take a long time to cook, you know, the cornmeal is refined cornmeal, so I'm gonna cook in less than 30 minutes, give it about 25 minutes, okay. I'm gonna put your stove down and unload it and let it take its time and do it thing. Yeah. Good girl. Liquidy, you know, because I'm gonna use coconut milk during the process. So if we make it too watery, we're gonna have a little too much watery porridge, and we don't want that. So let's put the stove on a low heat and let it stay there and cook. And then we'll come and put in my coconut milk and my coconut finish cook with the banana and the cornmeal, right? 
Mm-hmm. minutes now after 20 minutes you can put in a coconut milk and let it finish cook with the banana and the cornmeal yeah that's a real refined refined cornmeal in us like back in the days of our mother <laughs> our mother days when we used to get this coarse 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 cornmeal you know guys guys you know, remember that for all hours you have to cook the cornmeal you know all a, all, uh, two hours the corn meal and boy we really are come from afar we still you know I forgive God thanks you know I forgive God so much thanks because I, I remember I don't know who remember but I, I remember vividly how long I want to have to cook a corn meal porridge because the corn meal cook properly you know it was sick swell up a belly mm -hmm. Yeah, but I like them cornmeal here. You have a choice and I have a coarser one you know you can use. But I love the refined one and extra nice and more creamy. Look at this. I will have a banana we can chew. Oh yeah. I like it. I'm gonna put in a cinnamon leaf already. So before we start the process of mixing sweet and putting the the end product, you know, the milk and salt. I'm just gonna put in a teaspoon of salt now. Oh, the flavors I'm lacking from pearl, you know. Yeah, so you can start flavor up now. And um, when I finish cooking it, or when I finish boiling, you can put some more flavor. You can put some more cinnamon powder. You can put in some more vanilla. You know. If it need a little pinch more of salt because it's salt, get all the flavors together. Yeah, I'll put some nutmeg now. Put some nutmeg here. Make sure the nutmeg is not easy to write down, right, right, so can. Yeah, just take your time with it because you don't want it. Alright, so we still have the stove on a low heat, okay? Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm gonna put some. Cinnamon powder. Cinnamon teaspoon. And you can't go overboard with the cinnamon powder. And you put a little less than a quarter teaspoon. For now, and when I finish the taste as we go, taste as we go. So creamy already. Take your time and cook. At least this must cook for as a half an hour. Alright, I want the caramel well cooked and the banana. Yeah. yeah. Don't let my purge too hot arena. Not too watery and not too thick. Must be at the middle minimum, at the right, you know, the right texture. The texture, the texture of that. <laughs> Guys, tell me down in the comment which word is the right concept. I must use the right liquid. But I know. But I don't like it too thick. The right consistency. Yes, brother. Yes, brother. Yes. My brain box kicking, man. Yeah, kicking right consistency. Yeah, you see how the banana break down? Look at this. You see how the banana break down when I just started. You see the banana stand up in it so you can hardly see. You know, 
So I'm going to mix my last cup. Right? I'm going to come back now. I'm going to turn it off. I'm putting my last cup because I'm not going to boil the last cup. So that is it. Last cup. We don't want it too watery again. This is my last cup. Not too watery. After I have to have a right consistency. You know, I want the flavor to stand up. Stand up. All right. All right. So I'm gonna turn it off now. Let's cook it. Finish cooking. Finish boiling. More than half an half an hour. This so we're good to go. All right. You see, when the banana break down. Cook right down. Yeah. So we can turn off. Start this, this process of spicing up now. Finish spice up, sweeten up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here is my last color. It's so thick and rich. already you know guys I can use any milk of your choice I can use evaporated milk I can use a condensed milk any milk you want you know but I'm using the coconut milk and the vanilla last for today and a little sugar you know yeah all right Everything must stand out on its own. Every flavor that you put in, you know, it must stand out. It must say boom on the mouth. Yeah. Just a little tops of the rose water. And some more nutmeg, and then we can taste. already in our put but we have to make sure flavor turn up all right so we can taste at this point now I'm gonna taste you know to see what else the porridge need all right what else it needs
nice, 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 nice. So we can share a plate. Now we can share a dish. Everything nice. Here is my finished product. Okay, this is my banana with cornmeal, banana and cornmeal parody coconut milk, guys. Ooh, man. Try it. You must have this already. Oh, there's the banana porridge, banana with it's banana. No, banana with oats. Yeah, banana with oats. First time doing banana with cornmeal. So, guys, thanks again for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel. Give me a big thumbs up. Turn on the post notification bell so you won't miss all these nice, lovely dishes that I prepared. But now is the time for the proof. The proof is in the pudding. Yeah. This is the consistency that we need. All right, so now. The coconut milk, the tea is all the spices, it's just nice, it's nice and it's rich, proper. Mm. So, guys, see you all in the next video. Mm.